Hello everybody, here's Martin, your personal water sommelier and today I have the great pleasure to have like a very close friend of mine over here. We met kind of like on the stage when I threw, yes. I don't know how many strawberries on you. We did. And tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes. tomatoes. Look, the I'm German, show. I have no clue about tomatoes, tomatoes, they're all the same right. for me. Right. But I have Jimmy Lee here. And I'm happy to be here, this is one of the top restaurants in this city. I mean, you ask Martin, he'll tell you. Yeah, so we are in Gwen Restaurant. It's a beautiful steakhouse. We have a Michelin all star scone by Kurt Stone, the celebrity chef. Right. But we're not going to eat steaks today. We're going to drink some water. What do you think about that? Um, this is my life. This whole, this is my life. The water. What, your life is water? Why? Because of you. You're my life. Oh my God. Yes. I feel honored. It's all you. It's all me? It's no, all no, no. It's, it's both, I think. 50-50, huh? Okay. okay, let's start with the first water. Do you actually think, Jimmy, water is taste? It's funny, but my wife and I, we always buy bottled water. We don't drink Interesting. Water. So what do you buy? Fuji or Palm Spring. Here we go. Both great waters. Yeah. Coming yeah. from sources, from I, natural I, sources. I can tell that's a Fuji. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. So I know the bottle. For the people who maybe don't know and don't believe that water has can taste. I a little bit more? You know, we're making it like wine. Yeah, but you know, like it's, it's dangerous when I pour you too much because we're going to empty all drink? this for... No, but like you have to know where the restrooms are, the most important thing in a water tasting, huh? Okay. And I know you're older, not that like... Uh, yeah. I, how do you know that ball? No, you're like, look, you? look, I'm 47, you're 48, so it's like, I know like you're... 53. No, come on. But thank you. No, 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 thank you. 40, so are we, 248. Are we tasting? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's not the water. Oh. <laughs> oh. So what do you think? Is this water smooth? Is it salty? Is it bitter? No, no, no. It's not a bitter herb for the savor. I know that. It's a clean water. <laughs> it's tasty. And I would recommend it. I think so too. It's a very smooth, easy going water. Because all these waters are not just H2O, guys. They are minerals dissolved in each water. Correct. This idea of that pure water yes. is completely nonsense. Correct. Pure water doesn't exist on this planet. And you want the minerals. That's right. Because you're not a small appliance. Your iron doesn't like minerals, but you as a person like minerals. Correct. Your body runs on minerals. Therefore, we want minerals now. We want minerals. Yeah. You're drinking it like wine. Oh, I love this. And every water has a TDS level, stands for total dissolved solids. So how many yeah, minerals are actually coming? Then, then you can measure how many minerals actually combined in each water. So tell them uh, which water yeah. is So that? Fiji, Fiji water, Fiji. 222 TDS. Okay. In milligrams measured, dry residue, 222 TDS. 222. 222. So the next one, we're going to Peru. Ever been to Peru? No, Me I'm neither. not planning. Do you want to go? It has to be a beautiful country. I'll go get, pick up a couple broads if you Maybe, maybe we should do this together. Is, is it, it, it legal over there? Danny would have to help you. He's Spanish. He I like that. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I don't speak Spanish, I'm too Danny, bad. Danny can take care of the passport, the whole thing. Oh, that's great. I know how to speak a little German, but that's pretty much all my accents I can do. Is that a real accent or is that, is that? No, I'm totally American. I'm so born here and live here. No, actually, I'm German. No, obviously. But is it a real accent? No, it's a, it's a real accent. I'm a little bored. Like everybody's always saying like, Martin, are you an actor or not? You or you're you actually? English. You said English. Yeah, no, 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 uh, it's a real one. I'm from the Danish border, no. And that's the reason I think my accent is slightly different than all do other Germans. You, you want to know something funny I learned when I was in Germany? Please. If you're constipated in Germany, you're far from Vulcan. Did you know that? No. Oh, now you know. <laughs> now, which water is this? Cheers. So, Peru, Sokosani. Sokosani. TDS, 1000. Nice call. Oh, really? She had a twin sister as well? Maybe I did it too. Wait a minute, this is sparkling. That's not a fun part. Mm. That is an effervescent water. Yeah. They're saying still. But this yeah, isn't my vibe. I like more. They're saying water. still water. They're saying still. They're still taste. Because these bubbles you see right here and tasting it, yeah, it comes from nature. Mm. They don't end it in. It's natural to these bubbles. Mm. And the TDS is 1,800. Yeah. Ooh. That thing has more electrolytes than a Gatorade. Yeah. Isn't this crazy? Yeah. So when you have a little bit too much beers or too much wine So what alcohol? would be the purpose of this? This is in my type of uh, water. It's slightly salty, huh? Yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah, these waters are great when you're exercising. Sexercising or exercising? For both. 
Because, you know, you got to sweat a little bit. Because Jenny... Or maybe a little bit more. Jenny does it when she's sexercised. Good for her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get the men in the house, so you hopefully know. she she exercises a lot. Jenny's active, there's no doubt about it. My wife too. My Nancy, wife. Nancy's very my wife wife is, uh, She doesn't want to fall around anymore. Trust me, my wife is a former Olympic swimmer. She knows how to get wet. My wife, when I make love, she signals ship. She has a four cat ring. A whole different story. <laughs> <laughs> lucky me, my wife is not interested at all in jewelry. No. Doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Well, you're lucky. So, no, I, I'm saying I'm lucky. No, so we're talking about Germany. Yes. I have a German water for you. That's what I told thought you. I need a little that German is what I'm talking about. Yeah, huh? Morton, you opened that and I heard, is that bubbly water? Yes. Oh, uh, it's another bubbly But water. natural carbonated, like very intense bubbly. Oh. The TDS, 2,500. Ooh. Ooh. Very intense. You can hurt me when I'm down. But you can see it right Just away. give me Now you have to finish first the first one, sorry. Unput. Right there. That's it. Now, here we go. Oh. German. What's the TSA on this? 2,500. It's Ooh. the number one consumed German mineral water. They drink this. Everybody drinks that. Oh, oh it's God. God. I couldn't. I couldn't. It, it's like uh, carbonated, or like a soda almost. It is like a soda. Do you like, do you like flat? Like I drink flat. Do you like or do you like this? It's so funny. When it comes to alcohol, I love the sparkling wines more than regular wine. But when it comes to water, I'm more into still waters. But the carbonate waters are mostly the waters with the higher minerality. Right. And they have a I little bit more character yeah. for me. So they are more interesting from a taste perspective. Is one healthier than the other? I don't want to say healthier, but There's when different. you... For example, when you are, when you are lactose intolerant, you are... Which, are lack, which I am, by the way. Okay, right. your lack of calcium. Because in milk is calcium. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So this bubble has the same amount of calcium than a glass of milk. So you're saying I'm going to lack minerals if so I drink that's, like a flat water. So right? that's pretty cool for people who need certain minerals. And Gerolsteiner is one of them, like with tons of calcium dissolved. So most people in Germany drink this carbonated, yeah. this, this we love, same water. We have Sprudelwasser, it's the German word for carbonated waters. And everybody loves their Sprudelwasser. And when you ask for ice in Europe, they give you one ice cube. Because I'm all used to a lot of ice and meat when my wife and I traveled. In Europe a lot, they give you one ice cube if you're lucky when you're supposed to drink know. warm beer and warm drinks. No, but it's not And actually, all the Americans like a lot of ice. I don't think it's warm actually what we are drinking. We know the cons of refrigerators. That's why why, that's why you that's need to that's put that's anything ice cubes in it. Because let's be honest. That's fine. when you would put, in Italy too, by the way. Yeah, but when you would put ice cubes right now in these waters, the ice cubes are made obviously of a different water. True. So you would water down water with water. Your water Sounds crazy. Down, regular water with correct with good water. with good water, and yeah. then you change the taste profile. Therefore, we don't want that. Okay, that's so a good just, point. Is that Germany. why you drink beer the same way too? Yeah, but beer, beer. No, but beer is actually cold in Germany. I never had a warm beer. Mm. I never had a warm beer, but we like our foam on top of it. Yeah. Like when you see like here with some people like drafting their beer and then you see like no foam in Germany, you would be like, yeah, I want a new one. Do you know Jenny likes foam? That's just like... Jenny likes foam. Is that on her beer though? Oh. I don't, I'm talking about that. Interesting. Yeah. That's, that's like X, the, the X-rated stuff for later? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. XXX. <laughs> Look at that. Now, oh, what's that? 3500 like... TSA? You're very close. Oh. 3,052. Jesus, you're killing me. Like, I have to be very careful with oh, this water. Yeah. It's like a grenade. So this is the number one consumed water in Spain. So can I ask a question? It seems like in Europe, these carbonated waters are more popular than flats, yeah. and in America it's yeah. the opposite. Yeah, but Americans Because like Poland Springs a flat water, and yeah, yeah. Fiji's a flat. But Americans are changing. Are they changing to these? Because tons of people don't want to drink sodas anymore because they finally realized that sodas might be not the healthiest consumption. Sodas, I stopped when I died in about 10, 12 years ago. They're very corrosive for your, for your body. It's not healthy. It's like, it's like makes your body rust inside. It's really bad. I hardly drink a Coke. And all you're the right. Sugar, you're all the sugar right. is not maybe the most healthy stuff you want to have. Yep. So therefore, the Americans that. switching over to now water. Water is the number one consumed beverage now in America since three years. And especially like starting with soda true? water. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. Well, Americans are getting smart. No, it's great. They I always say, uh, my dietitian always said, the three things you should drink is water, coffee, and tea. Do, don't drink alcohol. It's very bad for every organ in your body, they said. And soda is really corrosive. They said, don't drink it. By the way, it's a myth that you're dehydrating from coffee. It's oh, a really? myth. It's really? a myth. 
So that a lot of people don't know that mm. because they're always thinking, yeah, but Martin, you cannot say this because there's coffee in, obviously, in coffee, yeah. and that makes you go to the restroom more. Yeah. But the amount That's of true. water, what the coffee is made of, it's 98% water, is more than you can actually pee out. No kidding. So therefore, coffee is actually, it's a myth that coffee is dehydrating. And another myth... Do you drink coffee? Or yeah, tea? sure, absolutely. I drink coffee, coffee in the morning. And another myth, the eight glass per day is complete nonsense. Ah, oh, with water? Yes. Really? That idea comes from the 1940s, and they were yeah. talking about the liquid intake, not the water intake. Liquid intake. Because in your coffee is water, so it already counts to the eight glass of water. Oh. In so if I have ice, if I have ice tea, it Absolutely. counts water. Absolutely. Separate your, than water. Your food counts even to water. Because some of it has liquid in it. Yeah. A bottle of it is 98% water. So I have a question. Me being an American, I just go for Fuji because it's not like I don't like these, but I like flat water. Yeah, yeah. Which one do you like, the highest carbonation one? It for me depends on my lifestyle. So do for you do different ones. Yeah, I need your... correct. So to the gym, I want a water with high mineral contents because I'm sweating. So that's one of them. So that's one of them. But and for when example, would you drink this if you had dinner? Sushi. Soup, why, why sushi? Because light flavors of sushi, light aromas, and this water has not tons of minerals dissolved. So would you have light one, of, flavors, would so you have one of these if you had a different food? Yeah, absolutely. This is barbecue. Heavy it's steaks. It's amazing. How you That's really water. cool. So that would be for your steaks. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable. And what are the other ones for? This pork chop, Gerald Steiner, I think it's nice with a nice like roasted pork chop. And then Sokosani is like pasta dishes. Because you want a little bubble, the richness of the pasta, maybe in a white wine sauce, it's very fatty, it's so very creamy. you English like wine? I do, exactly the same. So are you a wine kind of sort or water or both? I like wine too. What are you more, water or wine? No, yeah, I, I'm known, I think, for the water intake, but I like, I'm always saying that's the other water what I'm drinking today, and then I drink a beer or wine. What made you, I never heard of a guy do water, what made you do water, not, not wine? When it's, it started when I was four years old, Jimmy. When I was four years old on vacation time with my parents in Europe, I was fascinated that in every single city, the tap water tasted differently to me. And I could not believe it as a child why they're all calling it tap water. You learned when you were young something and you, yes. and you explored it and learned on it. And then from there, I was really it's interested so in water all the time. And then in 2005, I worked in Berlin in a beautiful restaurant. Where you were? A restaurant first floor. It was a Michelin Master restaurant directly at the zoo. and. A guest came to me and said, hey Martin, you have over a thousand different wines, but just one brand of water. He didn't like the taste of that particular brand. And he asked me, what else can you offer me? So basically, there's a need to... Correct, and I thought like, waters. yeah, the restaurant business, like, it's all about options. Imagine you would go to a sports bar, and the only beer they're about, serving you is Cardi Wee, Cardi Wee, on the coast. Oh, I love Cardi Wee. We went. Man, we that thing is awesome. It's I like, it's like uh, Harrods in London. Correct. Yeah, and my wife and I go right oh, to, it's so to the meat floor, to the short quarteries. Yes, and it's, it's incredible. You have meat boards here? I saw you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have a short quarter board. For people who maybe don't know, the Cardiwe is the largest grocery or like the grass is the biggest department store in Germany. It's in Berlin. Right. Uh, it's huge. It's huge. They're going to extend actually to be bigger at Harrods. Sure. Harrods we is the we number went, one biggest we one. To, yeah, we went to Germany, I want to say in the 90s. Awesome. And, uh, they, it was funny because it was 50 years after the war and it still hadn't been rebuilt. Now it's 30 years later. I don't know if it's changed. No, we're doing this on purpose. Why? We did this on purpose. We 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 re, we not rebuild everything because we want to showcase for future generations. This is what's happening when you mess around the world. It takes a long time. But it's I think it's very very good that we are learning from our history, and that's the reason I think we now can sit here. You're Jewish. I'm German. We are friends. Yeah. And that's the way it should be. That's nice. That's the way it should be. I like you. And this is what right. we learned from our history in Germany. It's your culture. You're Correct. all people. Correct. And it's my not wife, like... My wife's Asian and I love my wife. Here we go. So it doesn't matter race or religion. It Absolutely not. It's the person's life. Like I'll give you an example. Danny, he's Spanish. I don't mind Spanish. I just don't like him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jenny's a Jew. I put up with her because she does social media. I'm not crazy about her. Her mother called and begged to hang out with me because I'm a celebrity. I felt bad for her. You, I like. You're so kind. <laughs> so kind, huh? <laughs> so kind. And they're both crying on the background, huh? They love me. What did they you do? Me. No, me. but the idea is, I think, we learn learned from I, our did mistakes. Did I tell you? And we're better people now. Yeah, did I tell you that Jenny told me that she comes from a very big family? Did I tell you? A very big family? Yeah, all her siblings weigh over 300 pounds. 
very big family. I have a small family. <laughs> like I'm five six. <laughs> That's the reason. I'm a small guy. My jokes are bad. <laughs> oh, that's the reason we throw tomatoes. Oh, that's now so I get it. Now I, get I have no clue why they brought the tomatoes. I couldn't, Morton, even do my set. Unbelievable. And I had to go into, and, and we were on Howie today, and he was saying, Jimmy Lee didn't even get a chance to do a set. And he said, I thought you handled it good because you had to go in combat mode. And, and he watched, and he said, you, you, you really handled yourself, and you just... And I said I had to insult people and I had to go in like war mode. And the, the girl that was the fat one in the front that was the meanest, I had to start with the fat jokes. <laughs> so it wasn't like it was planned. I had a set had to plan to do and I didn't get to do it. Yeah, yeah. And I ended up in combat mode. And it ended up working out. <laughs> and I thought... It was hilarious. I thought I, I didn't do good right then when I came off and I ended up realizing I did good, but I didn't really think I did. When you're performing, you don't really know. Yeah, yeah. And it was for me the same. I had two guests here at Gwen on that evening. I was working here. I thought and you then, the live show. No, and then tell you, they came in here before the live show and said, oh, are you going to the live show? You say, which live show? Oh, the HP podcast doing a live show tonight. You say, what? I'm not invited. I have no clue what's happening. So I oh. worked here first. Then I, then, drove, then I drove over there. Okay. I came like 10 minutes after eight. I showed up. They closed already the ticket booth. How did you get in? And I was like, okay, guys, I need to get a ticket. And like, who are you? He said, you really need, let me in. Like, I really need to get in because right. trust me, it's going to be fun. Right, right. And they were super nice. So wait a minute, who, who got you in? Uh, there was like one person who said, security, don't know what, Martin, come. I will open a ticket booth for you again. They charge me, I think, 60 or $70. Right. I don't like, give a shit. You let you go in? Yes. No. And like, they let me go in and then I worked in. And then obviously I walked in and already people freaked out because I'm suddenly there. Right. And I have no clue what's happening because I've never been to the... I never saw the live audience people, obviously, of the H3 podcast. Right. So I had no clue how they're reacting to me, and I didn't know that they literally followed me to the restroom. To no. see, like, it was like, That's guys, funny. give me a little privacy here. Yeah. Like, I need, I need to release myself oh right my now. Oh my god! So that That's was kind of funny. So it was we, crazy. What was the outcome? The outcome, I think, was very positive. I had a lot of fun, and I, I have to say. The Ethan and Hilla are the nicest people ever. I, I love so, them, correct. The so whole nice. crew. And they, kind and you lying. walk into the studio and you feel right away family. That's. And I, that's I for me. feel the same way. And I've been on many podcasts, but they are very special. You're, you're right. In fact, my hotel, I checked in the other day and, and the girl walked me up to the room and I said, I, it's always my special room. And I'm like, I feel like I was just here. They make you feel like family, my hotel. That's why I go back. And, Ethan and, and Howie and his daughter did that today. They made me feel. Howie's called me Uncle Outlaw. That's great. And I was calling Uncle Howie. He says, I've known you 10 minutes now. We're family. I said, We have got to be family. And, and he was just so nice. And I'm older and I just like to be around nice people. You know, I've been blessed to have some money. And yeah, and I think like. I just at my age and different. I just want to have fun and be around correct. people I like. It's not your race, if you're white, black. Doesn't you know, matter. Not, it doesn't if you, matter. If I like you, you can be rich or poor. If you're. A good person and you're a fun person, you come hang with me. I'm you're always, brief, I don't want to hang you out. With I'm me. always saying it doesn't matter what kind of color you have on you're the skin, a or with political reason, even for me, like whatever floats your boat or religious aspect, but don't be an asshole. Because I don't want to be surrounded by assholes. Where, where's the piano? Danny wanted to know if there's the piano. There's no here. piano. I'm no so piano, Dan. But I want to tell you one more shout out uh, for obviously Ethan and Hilla. And yes. the two people who are. The same super friendly, and maybe you should, I don't know if you've been on their podcast, Which one? Tom Segura and Christina P, your mom's house podcast. Should we do that? Then? They are the nicest people ever as well. I've been, on them, yeah, I've been on them can twice. You, can you get me one? They're the greatest. Could you make a call? Yeah, absolutely. They and they are so nice. They are so nice. They're welcoming you to their studio. They really want to make sure you're feeling great What's and good. And What's his name? Tom Segura. You Very guys, famous you, comedian. You guys know him? Yeah, yeah. He has several Netflix specials right now currently. He has a very famous oh, I podcast. I'd like to go on. Like great guy. On. Great guy. Both are great. Perfect. Jimmy, what a I, pleasure what a to nice, hydrate you. You hydrated me, and I'm, and I'm all FOMO'd up with... For Fiji. Fiji. For and what, Fiji. Do, what are you FOMO'd up for? This, this sweet water, almost. Which one? I want to, I wanna, because I need to exercise with my lady later, I need to Ooh. go a little more Vichy, I think. For are myself. you married? I'm married since 10 years. Your wife is German? German, yeah. And I'm very happy. Doesn't hurt. The ring still fits. You got kids? No. no I, my wife is always saying I'm kid enough for her. Oh. Like two of Martin's I can't handle. I got two kids. 
It's a blessing. And I got two in the Philippines. Nice. And a truck. Uh, that so great. great. Yeah, that happens. I got two Jap Jews running around. Okay. Well, happy Hanukkah. That's a holiday. <laughs> I heard about that holiday. Oh, you do? Know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, you I know, know what Jenny it. told me. She converts Christmas, so she gets the Hanukkah gifts, and right around Christmas Eve, she converts to get. She's a she's a, she's a smart woman. She's clearly, smart. Oh, I like her. Be, you better believe it. You better believe it. Cool. Yeah. Cheers, Jimmy. Cheers. Thank you for inviting. Cheers, me. everybody. And, and we're gonna maybe have some nice appetizers. Uh, oh, absolutely. Maybe some charcuterie board or whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll let Martin. You know, we'll do. Show us. We'll, we will take care of you. Oh, Absolutely, Jimmy, you. and your family. And remember, guys, water is not just water. Cheers. Cheers.